Grand Orient has, through its affiliated lodges, spread death and revolution also in many other countries. The Freemasons forced the Tsar to abdicate on the 15th of February 1917 on the threat that if he refused his family would be killed. This was revealed by Anna Viberova, a close friend to the Tsar family in her memoirs. A Russian English speaking documentary, The Russian Revolution, admits politicians, major industrialists, and the military, unable to reach a compromise with the Tsar, gravitated to the idea of a conspiracy. Many of them, political adversaries in the open, were allied behind the scenes, all members of a secret Freemason Brotherhood, the great east of peoples of Russia. Founded in St. Petersburg about 1912, the organization was controlled by a Supreme Council and had more than 300 members. In 1916, popular lawyer Alexander Kerensky became head of the Supreme Council. He and other Great East members nurtured a plan of an anti-Tsarist coup. The makers of the film apparently believed the time had come to tell the truth. Many of the Bolsheviks, as well as Lenin and Trotsky, were Freemasons. Lenin was a Freemason of the 31st degree and a member of the French lodge Art et Travail. Lenin also became a member of the most malicious lodge, the Grand Orient, the Nine Sisters, in 1914.